are the owners of Jenna Ray Cakes, one of Canada's most beloved bakeries. Joining us to chat about their second book, Jenna Ray Cakes at Home, please welcome twin sisters Ashley Cosowin and Jenna Hutchinson. <laughs> First off, huge congratulations on this second beautiful cook, baby. What a stone cold stunner. It is such a beautiful book. Now, both your books. You have a, a, your first book, yeah. which was more based on um, kind of your bakery, right? Totally. Those were all recipes from our shop, things we currently sell in store. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what is the inspiration behind this book? We wanted to put a JRC twist on accessible home baking. So like waffles, pancakes, Ugh. pastries, pies, mm -hmm. cakes as well, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, but really run the gamut of all the recipes you bake at home with loved ones. Oh but my gosh. with a JRC twist of like, we love candy, we love color, we love glitter. So you'll find a lot of that in this book. I was going to say, if you want the world's most colorful book, please, <laughs> yes. please see this. Yes. It's absolutely amazing. Now, you've brought some beautiful treats from these books. So what are we getting started with first? Uh, we're going to get started with our toasted magic mallow square okay. here. Okay. So, who doesn't love Rice Krispie squares? Oh my gosh, like, the they're just a staple. Oh, yeah. They're literally, you bring these in, everyone like is in. Everyone is obsessed. Exactly. They're so underrated. They too. really are. Yeah. They're one of my favorite desserts. Yes. <laughs> Truly. The texture, the chewy, so yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, we like to toast our marshmallows before to give it that extra depth of flavor and also brown the butter. It really makes such a difference mm -hmm. and adds such another level of flavor to your square. Yeah. And then also, we love candy, sugar, we have big sweet tooth. Yeah. So anytime we can add like marshmallows or candy flavors to our stuff, we do it. Yeah. So this is loaded up with that too. Okay, so what, what do we got going on in this? We've got brown butter, we've got the toasted marshmallow, a little bit of pink just to make it extra Obviously. adorable, yeah. but of course. So how are we gonna decorate these babies? All right, so you're gonna take your warmed up chocolate. Okay. Use any color, but I love the way the blue pops. Yes. And drizzle it over half of your crispy. Oh. Yeah. And a lot of people get really intimidated as soon as there's a piping bag involved. Yes. This is just, you can't mess it up. It you, always looks You can't cute. go wrong. You yeah. really can't. And the thing is about it, it's like anytime you watch like the Great British Baking Show yeah. and they're spinning and they go wild, yeah. honestly, it looks better. You get more exactly. chocolate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No one complains like about too much chocolate. No. Uh, <laughs> all right, so please talk to me about these because I think I know what these are and I'm so excited. Of course, they're mm. Lucky Charms marshmallows. Yes. Which we all know and love. Mm. Um, and if you have leftover cereal, you can use it in a crumble in one of the other recipes in our book. Oh, so that's so no smart. Here, but I yeah. like really eats the cereal. I know. I mean, my kids don't. I know. You eat this cereal for the marshmallows yeah. because yeah. it's breakfast marshmallows. And then we've got some beautiful sprinkles, sprinkles? as well. You yeah. can top them up too. Okay. And then I feel like there's one more thing that you absolutely love to add to your baking. Yeah. Yes. I mean, if you haven't noticed by our book, we love glitter. Yes. Edible glitter. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a fun invention. Mm -hmm. We carry our own and we carry it in a wide range of colors. That's what I'm going to use here. Yeah. So light pink. Oh my and gosh. Just go ahead and sprinkle it over. So it's we're... called Dazzle Dust. Dazzle Dust. Dazzle. <laughs> it looks like so cute. The packaging yeah. is out of control. And oh I my literally God. add it to my it. kids' broccoli. Like you can yeah. add it to anything. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Make Get your kids to eat broccoli. Exactly. Make it glittery. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, it is, I was going to say it looks like makeup. I yeah. love it so much. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to take a bite of this while we move on to the next thing. Perfect. I love this because this is a perfect treat, obviously, for midday, maybe after dinner, after school. Mm -hmm. But we also have something that I'm going to call like a breakfast treat. Treat? Yeah. So what do we got going on here? <laughs> this is our raspberry rose biscuits. Mm. And Jenna actually just made them last week with her girls. Yeah, we just got back from London mm. and I wanted to do high tea with my girls. So we made these at home last week and it was so much fun. Okay, so what do we do with these ones? How do we decorate them? Yes, yeah, so you're gonna give mm. your glaze a nice stir. Okay, so it's perfect. ready to dip. Mm -hmm. Thank you there so you go. much. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, stunning. Oh, you smell the rose. It smells amazing. Yeah, it's so good. Mm. Yeah, you really, if you're doing the rose, you just want to add like a little bit of time, give it a little taste. Yes. Just to make sure you're not overdoing totally. it. Totally. And you're just going to wiggle it in. Give a little dip. Dip and twist. Okay. It's almost like making a donut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For anybody who's done that, oh, look at that little number. So fun. And oh my then gosh. you want to take your dehydrated raspberries. Okay. And I like to just crunch it up on top. Oh, okay. And just sprinkle it on. Oh them. my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so good. And then I think the thing that would make this better is obviously a little bit more glitter. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I get that. That generate cake energy. I'm yes. here. Yes. Never too much glitter. No. That's the rule. Oh my there gosh, go. that is so fun. Uh, Jenna and Ashley, what an absolute joy this book is. It's <laughs> such a feast for the eyes and, lucky me, a feast for my stomach. So thank you so much and congratulations on this amazing new book. To help you, studio audience, bake up the most enchanting treats, thanks to Jenna and Ashley, you're going home with a copy of their new book. Hey, Mary here. What did you
what you think. Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.